Hey, what's up going on guys? Uh, so today we have the E92. The E92 has not been here for a while uh, due to uh, my girl driving it. So uh, we have it here today and I've been having a big leak from my uh, oil filter housing. Uh, that leak is going down to my alternator, down to my pulleys, all the way down to my oil pan and it's just it's getting oil everywhere. So today we're gonna take care of that. Um, I had the leak for a while already. Um, it's just really annoying. I, I, it's pretty simple. Uh, the gaskets, I think I paid like no more than $10 for it. Good reviews and everything on Amazon. So uh, let me show you what we're messing with. Okay, so this is my uh, oil filter housing right there. Um, there is a big leak. I don't know if you guys can tell all that right there is oil. I have a cut my finger, don't uh, don't mind that. So we're pretty much gonna have to, uh, there's a, a gasket going through right here and there's a gasket in the back that connects to the to the block. Uh, so we're gonna end up removing um, the engine cover, we're gonna remove the air box, we're gonna remove that cowl looking thing or intake, whatever it is. Um, might have to unbolt the intake manifold and just move it out of the way because I'm pretty sure there's a bolt right here in the corner and I'm pretty sure it's blocking it. So um, yeah, we're gonna end up replacing this right now and I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse and you guys will be able to see the whole process. All right guys, so this is just a quick update. Um, I, am, I did stop a little bit because I'm taking care of my son also. So there's a bolt that goes under the, the transmission hoses if you guys have it, um, which is just a 13 millimeter. And um, the hoses come out. There's three bolts right here. They are Torx, but you can use a 10 millimeter to take it out. And then uh, that should come out right now. So this is one gasket that gets replaced and it looks pretty worn out. So it's a good possibility that the coolant and the oil will be, could, could have been mixing. So I'm gonna replace this one right now. And then uh, there's another one that goes over here, which I'm gonna have to uh, move the uh, intake manual for because it is in the back. So um, yeah, this is just a little progress, guys. I'm gonna keep going with the time lapse so you guys can, keep, uh, can see. Okay guys, my bad. So um, the camera did stop recording and I did not notice, but this is where we're at right now. So I did get all the bolts removed. Um, there's gonna be uh, one bolt right there, one bolt in the bottom coming this way, and then one bolt in the back that I was saying about the intake manifold. Um, this one is always a pain in the ass for me to get. Um, I did have to um, get a smaller size and hammer it in there in order for it to fit and we're gonna take it out. I will be replacing that bolt with a different one, with a different one. Um, but yeah guys, it's, I'm not explaining it too much on the way because it's pretty self-explanatory. It just takes a little bit of time. Uh, three bolts on this one to get this one out and then three bolts on the other one which would be this one which is the only difference is you, this one has hoses which is one bolt take out the hoses um but i did remove the fan just to get a little bit more space that one there's two bolts might not have no bolts so i just pretty, I pretty much can just pull it out i did remove this one um this hose right there which goes right there held down by two tens just to give me a little bit more space um this is where i am at right now what you're gonna want to do is um get the area clean out really good uh because we're gonna put the new gasket on this side too clean both sides as you guys can see this one has um that i want to say they put man i don't know Actually, that gasket might be ripped. That gasket looks pretty bad. I don't know, you guys can tell. Just clean out both areas, guys. And we're gonna put a new gasket. We're gonna put a, a gasket sealer also. The extra one on top, and yeah.
So uh, these are my gaskets. Um, I got these at Amazon. They were like, I think like I didn't pay them more, more than 10 bucks for them. Um, they had good reviews. They had a whole bunch of reviews and they were good reviews. So, I mean, <laughs> hopefully they work on mine. Uh, here's the part number you guys are looking for it. I'll put the, uh, the link in the description. That way you can see it. But it does come with the uh, one for the block and the one for the um, transmission line. I'm gonna go ahead and put on that one, bolt it on, and I'll do the other one afterward. Um, I will be adding some uh, gasket maker. Don't ever put this by yourself, guys. It doesn't really work. I'm gonna put this uh, under and then I'm gonna throw the, um, the gasket over it just to have a little extra protection on there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the gasket itself. It fits pretty good, guys. Um, there's not much of modifications or if really tight or anything. It's not, it doesn't fit loose, doesn't fit tight. So that's kind of what you want. You don't want something too loose or too tight. That one has a pretty good fit. So both gaskets are in. I'm gonna go ahead and start bolting everything back on. Now what you're gonna do is um, is clean this part up. Um, I'm gonna put it on the on the rag because it's still leaking a little bit of oil and coolant. So uh, this one just has some leftover uh, gasket maker. Okay, it is nice and clean now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall this part. Same thing, guys. We're gonna uh, bolt it on evenly. All right, guys, so I just finished. Um, I already put everything back together. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get everything on there. Uh, the camera stopped recording. I didn't notice because of the sun. Um, but like I said, uh, one, uh, two, and there's one right under there, which are three bolts. We remove this. There's one bolt right here under, which is a thir uh, 13, which we get rid of these hoses to get out of the way. And then there's one, two under the manifold, and then three on the bottom going this way. Uh, that are holding this part and that's pretty much it guys um, you gotta unbolt this remove a uh, intake box the fan has two bolts one here right there and then there's another one over here uh, which the fan just comes right up and then the connection so uh, it's not a hard job guys unfortunately um, I don't have anyone to watch my son I am watching him and I'm also working on the car so it's a little hard uh, he's all over the place um, but it's not a hard job at all. You need minimal tools. I use a 10, a 13, and an extension. And 11 for the intake manifold bolts, uh, which is there is a, uh, there's six nuts and then one bolt holding the intake manifold. And that's pretty much it. Um, I did a quick oil change too while I'm here. Like I said, guys, it's not a hard job at all. It's gonna stop the leaking, which it's, it's great. I hate the leaking. It's a nice car and then you know, you leave the spot and then you leave a little freaking puddle of oil and it was just annoying. I'm still gonna end in the, uh, later on. I'm gonna remove this and then spray everything with the greaser and then um, power wash it too. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys want more ENA2 videos, ENA2 will be back soon, uh, like for sure, it's gonna stay here. Um, so let me know if you guys wanna see anything. I will be doing a PCV valve on it. I'm getting a little bit of smoking. I was told that uh, PCV valve usually makes it smoke. I'm not getting smoking to where it's a bad seal, but I am getting a little bit of smoking. So yeah, that was one of the main things that I wanted to fix. Also, I have a, my, my back tire, I don't know why, it got uneven, it has like a ball, so it's like, it's making the car shake a little bit. I gotta replace that too. I'll take you guys with me too. Please, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, the giveaway, guys, don't forget the giveaway. 500 subscribers will be giving out a special surprise, which I think it's cool. Most of you guys will like it. But yeah, here's the new two right now, it's sitting. I will be getting these rims and I do want to be painting them. I want to be painting them black. I want to paint them black. Um, I'm trying to black out the whole car. I got to This car is neglected right now, but it will be getting more videos of it soon. Please follow the journey and don't forget to like, follow, subscribe and peace.